What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video, hoping that you are growing your money today and every day. Because that's what we do around here, and that's what we like to talk about. I like hearing your guys' stories down in the comments section of you guys doing well. So, hey, we're going to talk today about an important credit card comparison video with everyone's favorite credit union. That would be Navy Federal, right? We're going to compare the flagship card, which is kind of like their uh, uh, granddaddy card, if you will, to the cash rewards. So there are some similarities because they're both from Navy Federal. Some differences between these two we're going to talk about. And at the end of it, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about which one you think, um, which you prefer, okay? So there, some are better for people than others, depending on what you like and those sort of things. So shout out to Nino, subscriber who recommended um, this credit card comparison. So they don't have to be in the same... Um, bank or credit union they can be different banks or different credit unions but shout out to nino for just requesting this because this is one that a lot of people are probably going to want to see and see the um, rundown of these two so guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel because this channel keeps growing people are loving it just like they love navy federal and that's what we're going to talk about to get started so why do people love navy federal so much now one of the big reasons why because with credit unions in general uh, you can oftentimes get approved for cards with you know average credit even below average credit they're not as strict as a big bank is going to be. And there's no shortage of videos online of people talking about the generous limits that they've gotten with, you know, like a mediocre credit score. So that's one big reason why people love Navy Federal. You can apply for a new credit card um, every three months. You can, I mean, you can really apply earlier than that if you like, but even Navy Federal themselves, they typically recommend uh, three billing cycles that they get to see as far as like your usage and that sort of thing. You get up to three cards total, three personal cards total with Navy Federal, okay? That's all you can have. Now you can apply for a credit limit increase every three months. This can be a soft pull. Uh, oftentimes it will be if you do it through the app or if you go on the website and do it there. If you call over the phone, there's a really good chance they're going to hard pull you. Now this thing with the th every three months, I heard some people say you can be, um, every three billing cycle or every three billing cycles the first time but after that you have to wait six months i hear different stories if you guys have your experience please share that down in the comments section below i really do like to hear that because it helps out other people um, and it gives me good feedback that i can use in other videos to share that information with other people now all the cards you're going to love this part have no fee for balance transfer cash advance forward transactions or an annual fee except for the flagship that we are talking about today now, Navy Federal's, damn, they're almost 12 million members now. They are by far the biggest credit union in terms of members, in terms of assets they manage. It's not even close between Navy Federal and the rest of the credit unions. So to join, you basically have to be a DOD employee um, in one of the military branches. You could be active or reserve or National Guard. Uh, and then, you know, veterans, of course, and then their family, certain family members can join. If you guys have questions about that, I have an entire video talking about that already, how to join Navy Federal. They have it all over their website. You may see some people saying, like, you know, around the internet saying, hey, I'll give you my access code. You can join under that. I am going to 100% discourage you from doing something like that. If you get caught, your account gets shut down, your SOL. Now, looking at the rewards, all right, who are these cards best for and that kind of thing? So if we're looking at the flagship card versus the cash rewards, the flagship Really, they try to say it's good for maximizing your rewards, good for travel, and you need very good to excellent credit. They don't give numbers for it. They don't give a credit score. They just say very good to excellent credit. Now, the flagship card, the reason they say maximizing your rewards is because on this card, everything you buy gets at least two points. So you're getting at least two points, which is one penny per point. So it's 2% back. If you spend it on travel, then you get three points, you get 3% back. So this for a lot of people can actually just be a good daily spending card with the flagship card. Now on the cash rewards card, good for getting cash back. It comes with the name, right? Everyday spending and you only need average to excellent credit for this card. So it's easier to qualify for the cash rewards card. If you have direct deposit with Navy Federal, you will get 1.75% cash back. If you do not have um, direct deposit with Navy Federal, you're gonna get one and a half percent cash back. So looking at what they have here, as far as the bonuses and things like that, at the moment, these bonuses change over time. Now with the flagship, they're giving you 30,000 bonus points, which is $300, so one penny per point. When you spend three grand within 90 days of opening the account, that's pretty typical of Navy Federal. It's typically a 10% um, return on spend is what you're gonna get for a sign-up bonus, plus 1.99% intro APR purchases for six months after the account opening. Cash rewards. 
$200 cash back bonus when you spend $2,000 in 90 days. So for a lot of people, both of those uh, spend limits or spend minimums are probably within their range. Um, the cash back amount, like I just said, if you have um, direct deposit, that's the big thing that's gonna determine whether or not you get 1.5% back or 1.75% back. Now with these cards, as you're gonna look, see right here, right? They have no rewards limit, no rewards expiration, no foreign transaction fee, and no cash advance fee with these cards. Now, the flagship card does give you three points on travel and purchases and more. So these are the categories you're gonna see on the left here of what they consider to be travel categories. So not just flights and like hotels, but car rental, timeshares, campgrounds, RV parks, ride sharing services, so Uber and Lyft. So if you live in a big city and you take Uber and Lyft a lot, and maybe you don't even have a car, that's big for you. Parking, bridges, tolls, ferries, entertainment, even museums, amusement parks, public golf courses, those things are all considered to be travel with Navy Federal. And those are areas where you're going to get three points back on everything. Now the cash awards, you're gonna get 1.75 or 1.5 on all purchases, right? You have no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, collision damage waiver, all that sort of fun stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the difference between the flagship card really all the points cards may be federal and the uh, cash rewards cards. The cash rewards card, whatever cash you earn, you can pull that out of your account with Navy Federal whenever you want. When it comes to these points cards with Navy Federal, these rewards cards like the flagship, the go rewards, the more rewards, you have to get 5,000 points before you can actually cash those in. So just keep that in mind. That is one big advantage the cash rewards card has is you can grab your money anytime you want out of there. With the points cards, not quite the same. Now, final thing when it comes to flagship, like I said, two points and everything else. So you can get them for cash, travel, gift cards, merchandise, but again, you gotta wait to get to 5,000 if you wanna cash that out. Statement credit up to 100 bucks for global entry or TSA pre-check. Um, worldwide automatic travel accident insurance, right? Travel, emergency assistance, collision damage waiver. Stuff that's standard with lots of um, cards that are geared towards travel uh, to begin with. And then we close out with the fees. This is where lots of people like to see because, hey, Navy Federal is not known for having a whole bunch of fees when it comes to their credit cards. So one of the other big pluses of credit unions, uh, one of the big pros of credit unions over uh, banks. So with the flagship card, here's what you're looking at, 10.24 to 18%, okay? The uh, cash awards, 9.9 to 18%. Navy Federal does not go over 18% when it comes to their APR. Cash advance, 2% above your APR on both cards, unless your APR um, is already like 17 or 18 percent. If your APR is already 17 or 18, they will not go over 18 percent for a cash advance APR. It's just going to stay at that level. And the annual fee, the cash awards, none. All of the cards except for the flagship have no annual fee. The annual fee for the flagship, you can see, 49 bucks. So that's not going to break the bank, but some people, depending on how they handle their finances, they do like to do a little math, run some numbers, and see if they think paying that 49 dollars is worth it. Or, you know, it's better to just keep the 49 bucks and get a different card to use for um, whether it's their daily spending or for travel expenses. But nonetheless, this is a pretty um, quick, dirty, and just efficient breakdown of what you can expect with these two different cards. When it comes to Navy Federal, understand Navy Federal typically pulls from TransUnion when they do a hard inquiry. You apply for a card with them. I've heard of some people getting pulled from Equifax, and I think one I've heard of who got pulled from Experian. Um, on something like this. But nonetheless, this will give you a quick overview of what you can expect as of the making of this video when it comes to signups, bonuses, APRs, all that sort of stuff with these two popular credit cards from Navy Federal. And the last we'll talk about here, these other fees that are pretty minimal. I mean, ATM cash advance fee, 50 cents or a dollar. It depends. Foreign transaction fee, none. Return payment, late payment, 20 bucks. Like half what would be at a, normally at a big bank. So guys, Thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so yet because this channel is growing and doing oh so well. I appreciate all of you watching. And until next time, keep growing your money.